students. I'm so excited to see you today. Today we're going to go for a texture walk outside. We are going to be looking for things that have texture. Whenever we talk about texture in art, we're talking about how something feels. Words to describe texture are lumpy, bumpy, soft, stretchy, spiny, fuzzy, prickly, hard, wrinkly, gritty, smooth, slick, rubbery, and rough. What textures do you notice in the word texture? I see some things that are rough. I see some things that are smooth. I see some things that are soft and some things that are hard and bumpy. This plant looks soft and spiny. The manhole cover looks hard and rough. The palm tree looks prickly and hard. The leaves look slick and smooth. The bricks look bumpy and hard. The dandelions look soft and fuzzy. How would you describe the textures in this photo? A radial design is balanced around a central point radiating out in a circle. One of your options this week is to do a radial assemblage using textures found in nature. I noticed when I went up close when I was doing my radial texture assemblage, I was really able to see a lot more textures, which is something you might consider to really see those textures. You could do your photo from far away, but you won't see the texture as much. You could do your photo from up high, just remember you won't be able to see as much of the texture. Your next option this week is to do a rubbing. A rubbing is when we use crayon over paper to transfer a texture. So here are the tools I'm going to use to do my rubbing. I am going to use an unwrapped crayon. Dark colors are best. They show the most texture. This is a dark blue. Or one of those thicker type crayons for young children. Um, those ones are good as well, but they must be unwrapped. Thin paper, drawing paper or copy paper are thin and they will transfer the rubbing very well. You can also use some tape to secure your paper. It's really important that you hold your paper firmly in place when doing your rubbing. Also, don't draw or collect the texture with the crayon down. Use the side of the crayon. Hold it like this. Okay, so now I got my crayon. I'm holding it correctly. Got my paper in place. And I am going to very firmly rub down with the side of my crayon on the paper. Just really trying to do my very best job. The darker you do and the more steady you hold it, the better it's going to be. So here is a picture of the rubbing I got off of the piano. Remember when you do your rubbing, it's very important that you don't get crayon off of your paper. We don't want to get crayon all over your family's house. This is a rubbing of some bricks. I've really enjoyed the rubbing of the coins. In fact, with this one, I rubbed in a lot of different directions and kept overlapping the circles. I think it looks really cool. Watercolor on top of a crayon rubbing can really be vibrant. On this rubbing, I used some cool colors. Painting the hues in a gradation can be very beautiful. This technique is called dry brush, very little paint, and just the tip of the brush. When your watercolor rubbings are dry, one thing you could do is make a windsock. The supplies you will need are a ruler, scissors, a pencil, a glue stick, a stapler, some yarn, and a hole punch. To make your windsock, flip one of your pieces of paper over and draw some lines down it. Then cut the lines or strips out. Next, add glue stick to the bottom of the other paper and space out your strips. 
Now roll it into a cylinder, staple each end, and now use a hole puncher to punch holes. There will be two holes at the top. Now take your string through and knot it at the end and you have a beautiful windsock. Here's a picture of my daughter having fun with the windsock. Here's some other cool ideas you could do with your textured paper. You could cut and glue pieces to make a paper collage. Maybe you could use the texture paper to make a book cover. Maybe you could cut it into a square and use it for origami. Or maybe you even have your own creative idea. Here are some awesome ideas for working with texture. One is to make a radial sculpture with found objects. Please check out the link to Mr. Lin's awesome video on found object radial sculpture. Two is you could create a rubbing and use your creativity in making something with that rubbing. Three, you could do an observational drawing focusing on texture. Another option is to do any kind of guided drawing lesson you can find on YouTube. And last, feel free to free draw on anything you think is interesting. Thank you, wonderful Twin Legs Academy students for tuning in. Please remember, once you're done with your art, if you would like feedback on your art, please send it to the email address listed in the instructions. I hope you have a great day. Bye.